And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the first expansion for Descent 2.0 or Descent 2nd Edition, and that's Lair of the Worm, which sounds very exciting. Ooh. It's a small expansion, and it really doesn't have a lot in it. It's kind of one of those more of the same, but I was very interested to see how in this expansion were they going to add more quests? You know, what exactly was gonna be in this expansion? Let's take a look. Okay, let's talk about some of the things in this expansion. In this expansion, you're supposed to use everything that comes with it. Although, honestly, the, the characters can be separated out. But there's no, this isn't like a module expansion. But there are a couple new characters in here. We see uh, Reinhardt the Worthy and the High Mage Quellen. Both of them are, in my opinion, okay. They have decent stats. This guy can reroll a miss, so I really, you know, he's actually pretty cool. Uh, this guy has a chance to recover stamina. Yeah. I guess maybe I'm being too hard on them, but they're they're okay. What's neat in this game, though, is the fact that we have two new classes of people that can be used. We have the, the champion. Now, the champion is a pretty cool character. Uh, the champion has a, a sword, which is pretty cool, which and he can use to get extra hits. But he has a horn of courage and also the valor of heroes and these will give him valor tokens as the game progresses and in fact it's possible for him to get those valor tokens to his teammates and as the game progresses as the campaign progresses you will get more valor uh, ways to use it to recover hit points to recover fatigue to do extra damage on attacks so it's another token in the game which might be looked at as a little fiddly, but at the same time, it's it's really cool thematically. Oh, I got more Valor, so I can use that. Uh, and then we have another Mage class, the Geomancer, who starts with a, a Ruin and doesn't have really anything that's spectacular about him as attack-wise and such, but he can summon a Summon Stone. And the Summon Stone is something that, as the at the beginning of the game, it just is basically an obstacle. Goes around and gets in the other person's path. But as time goes by, you will be able to summon two and then three Summoning Stones, and they can stun people near them. You can make attacks from nearby them. So as the the mage, you're standing there and you're sending these to go block and attack people. You can become extremely powerful as the game goes by. Uh, this is one that you kind of have to go with it. I don't know that I would ever use the Geomancer class as, you know, just a, as a one-off. If I just want to play one, go through one scenario. But if you're going to play through the whole campaign, definitely one because as it goes by, it just gets cooler and cooler to see what those summoning stones can do. Some new monsters. We have Fire Imps, which from a distance look like fire. In fact, these models might actually have to be painted. You, there are a bunch of imps standing there. But think of them as your typical fire enemies. They, fire doesn't hurt them, they can shoot fire, and when you hit them and kill them, they explode. That's pretty cool. Also being able to use fire are the hybrid sentinels. Uh, I think of these guys almost like dragon kin. They can hurt weak people, which is interesting because one of their attacks will affect one of your stats on the card, and that's something that I don't see very often. Um, and then they can sh shoot fire breath and fly. They're like mini dragons, but that, that's a cool mechanic to add to the game. The game also comes with some overlord cards and some new weapon cards that are in the game. So, you know, it adds more stuff to play around, but it also adds some rumor cards. And the overlord will draw a few of these rumor cards. And whatever the reasoning behind him getting these rumor cards, it simply is a way for them to get the new encounters. There's five more encounters in this book which is great, you can play these by themselves, but if you want to use them in the campaign, then you're going to have to uh, use the rumor cards to get them in there. Now these and other ways, search ways, adds a whole new mechanic to the game in that you can have a secret room. Everyone knows that when you are going around and exploring through dungeons, everybody wants to find the secret room. Well now there's a chance to find a secret room, except when you go into the secret room, there's a possibility that you have different encounters that might to be simply a test of one of your abilities, or it might be a monster who shows up. If you beat the encounter in the secret room, then you're going to get some kind of reward. For example, 
one of them gives you this card. And this card says anyone in the secret room can keep the card. You can discard it at any time to cancel the effects of an Overlord card as it is played. Well, that's a pretty neat thing to have. And so the secret room will go in there and there's two different secret rooms uh, for variety's sake. And the game comes with also some other map pieces, mostly used for the new scenarios. And there's also these lock pieces. Some creatures start locked in a scenario and then something will unlock them as the game progresses. So there's nothing majorly new about this uh, expansion overall, all well, the secret room and stuff. Nothing game changing, but there's a lot of new cool features to add to the campaign. Now let me start out by saying that I love Descent 2.0. It's a fantastic game. One of my favorite games. I just love how they took the original Descent, which I also liked, and really streamlined it down. This does a pretty decent job at keeping it streamlined, because I've been kind of curious, you know, are these expansions going to kind of slowly start sprawling out Descent? And this adds the rumor cards and the treasure room, and that sprawls it a little, but not too much. It's just more things. New monsters, new heroes. Um, and so... Here's the deal. I like the new hero types. I think that having two more hero types is fantastic. The Geomancer and the, and the Warrior, the, the just the, the idea of having more options because each of those hero types can be mixed with every hero. The heroes and the monsters in the set are, uh, and you know what? Overall, my opinions on this expansion are kind of, meh. I don't dislike it because it's more Descent stuff that I can use. But it wasn't that exciting to open up. It wasn't like, oh, look at all these new monsters. Now, I know their next expansion is going to be a big expansion with lots of cool things. So this is not that. And I almost wonder if I like these smaller expansions for Descent because I'm looking for something. Uh, yeah, this adds some new stuff, but I'm kind of looking for something that's like, look at this, a new campaign. This doesn't really give you the feel of a new campaign. It just gives you the feel of some outlying missions. Now, I'm not saying buy this because if you're Descent, not, I mean, don't buy it because if you're Descent fan, you're going to run out and grab it anyway. But, eh, I don't know. It's okay. It, it, <laughs> I feel like I'm giving it a negative review, and I'm really not, because I do enjoy it, and I have included it in my game. And speaking of which, this, I, I kept the Descent to a Point L box, and then I kept uh, one of the old Descent uh, expansion boxes, and I've managed to fit everything in those, from all the original models and all the new stuff put together. And when I added in this stuff, we're done. We're full. So the next expansion box I'm going to have to keep. So, you know, we're, they're already running out of space in that regard. So... New treasures, new heroes, new hero types, new monsters. There's enough stuff in here to justify the price. I, it just didn't wow me. So there's that. Maybe the next expansion will. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door. Boop. Boop.